I can't understand. And you can't make me understand it, Philip. I, I, I never felt so rejected. Helen, listen to me. It couldn't have been Mother. You say this woman ran from the house. Mother's practically bedridden. She can't walk without support, let alone run. Well, I wouldn't know. I, I've never met her. I'll bet it was Mrs. Beasley. It must have been Mrs. Beasley. She comes to clean three days a week. But the woman said there was nobody at home. If your mother can't walk without support, how could she... Wait a minute. You said this was Monday. Yes, this past Monday. <sighs> well, that explains it. Mrs. Fairbane and Connie came over to take Mother for a drive. She's an old friend and her daughter. Connie can manage Mother almost as well as I can. <sighs> I'm sorry, darling, after that long train ride. You're sure she wasn't home? She really wasn't home on Monday? I just told you. Here. That's Mother. Is she the one you saw? No. Oh, Philip. Well, of course it isn't your mother. Oh, how silly I've been. She wouldn't run away from you. No one would. Oh, uh, about mother. I've had some bad news. I spoke to her doctor yesterday. He told me her heart isn't so good. Well, he warned me any shock. Well, it's my duty to guard her against them if I can. Oh, I don't know what makes this a holiday. I never worked this hard at the office. It's a change. It's supposed to be diverting. Oh, Keen. Helen, this is a furnished apartment. Save your energies for when you take over the prior mansion. The thoughts never crossed your mind? Well, I never thought of taking over, if that's what you mean. All right, marrying Philip, then. Well, of course I think of it, but... But hooey. Listen, there's a trite old expression that fits like a you-know-what. You're not getting any younger. Well, do you know anybody that is? All right, I'm not getting any younger either. But at least I'm playing the field, keeping the old eye peeled for somebody really eligible. Well, Philip's really eligible. It's just that he... It's just that he's all his mother's got. Listen, I'm all for mothers, but there's a special breed of women with only sons that lingers on for years. If I were you, I'd give that a little thought. I've given it a lot of thought. I just don't know what to do. Lay it on the line. You get married right away, or farewell, Philip. It's just no good anymore, Philip. Just these few evenings together, Saturday afternoons. Do you, do you realize that this has been going on for, for four years? I know I can't remember not knowing you. I don't want to. Well, soon it'll be five years, and that's a long time to wait for something. Well, there was the war. Oh, Philip, that was a long time ago. Well, all right. There's Mother. You've always understood about her. I can't change that, Helen. Well, you don't have to. That's what I'm trying to tell you, I guess. You don't have to change, but, but I do. You mean you don't want to see me anymore? Well, the way it is now, no. No, I, I don't. Oh, Helen, it won't be much longer. I promise you it won't. Mother's beginning to perk up now. It won't be any longer, Philip. I'm not going to be seeing you anymore. But I don't know what I'd do without you. I mean it. I don't, I don't know what I'd do without you. Helen! Helen! We won't wait any longer. We'll get married tonight. Tonight? Yes, right now, tonight. People drive across the state line all the time. There aren't any delays, and we don't want any. Oh, Philip.
father's room. She's sure to be sleeping. I don't think we ought to bother her tonight. Unless, of course, you insist, darling. After all, you're the boss now. No. No, tomorrow will be fine. We'll tell her tomorrow. Tomorrow is here, Mrs. Pryor. Perhaps Philip's already told you, but I know that I can't wait any longer. Mrs. Pryor? Mrs. Pryor? Mrs. Mary Langley Pryor died at her Elmville Lane residence early today, native of Boston, widowed three years ago, only survivor, a son, Philip, of the home. Understand, she's she, she's been dead for seven years. You never remember to keep warm, Mother. You'll get another chill if I don't watch over you every minute. No. 